Now over the weekend, one of the greatest spectacles of footballing brilliance took place. Arsenal versus Man United was an instant classic and it's completely changed my perspective on where I think Arsenal will finish this season. Now coming into this fixture, both of the sides were looking shaky. Man United haven't had the best start to their season with Onana, the new goalkeeper, making a few mistakes. Arsenal have not been living up to the hype. Rice just came in for 100 million and what has he done? Fans are going fuming. We drew 2-2 to Fulham. Bro, Fulham. I think even back in the day, I got scouted for Fulham. Have you seen my footballing ability? It is not that good. So both teams going into this game had a point to prove. 4.30 p.m. in the heat of the Emirates, it took place and went down as one of the greatest matches of this season so far. We are like three game weeks in. Four genuinely don't know and it kicked off brilliantly Arsenal having a lot of the ball but looking lackluster in the final third Martinelli going after Aaron Wan-Bissaka every two seconds just to be shuffled off to the left to put a cross in to get a corner it happened over and over again and after all the barrages of Arsenal attacks Man United the inevitable happens they run on the counter and Rashford slots in Man United's first goal of the game. Devastation surrounds the Emirates and everyone is saddened. I swear to God, I nearly choked out the person I was watching this with because, because I was so upset. Shit. Rashford, the inevitable, the man, the myth, the legend. And he continues to score against Arsenal every single time we play him. But one thing I must say is that Marcus Rashford is world class. I swear to God, at the start of this year, I created a whole new channel, yeah? It was just called Jib Hates Football and I was making rants about football. I made three videos and one of them was called Marcus Rashford is world class. Nobody watched that video, nobody even liked that video, but I just wanted to talk about how good Marcus Rashford is. Every single time this man is one on one with Arsenal, he decides to put it in the back of the net. We had Ben White slipping and sliding trying to mark him all game and he just could not control the source. Pause. He tried his best but he got too tight and every single time you get tight to Rashford, a ball gets played in behind and you are done because in a foot race between Ben White and Rashford, Rashford is finishing 14 seconds ahead. So in the moment when we needed him most, Ben White again didn't go in for the challenge, didn't take Rashford onto his weaker foot, but let him cut in onto his stronger right foot and slot it into the right hand corner. We were down, 1-0. I turned to the person I was watching with and said, it's over. I walked, I wanted to make a cup of tea, but I heard something rumbling. I heard the crowd celebrating. I missed the second goal. Erdegaard gets the ball from Martinelli, slots it bottom right corner in the next 45 seconds after Rashford devastated all the Arsenal fans and jubilation. We're back. Awesome. We're back. The title holders. Like when we were 1-0 down, I was saying we were finishing 7th. But when we went to 1-1, Erdegaard, I saw the highlight of the goal and I saw the play. Easily, we're winning the league. Saka having a blinder this game didn't really have much impact. The likes of him and Anthony were just useless. Cutting in onto their stronger foot every single time was so predictable for the likes of Zinchenko and Diogo Dallo to defend. And it just didn't work. Those two players weren't involved in the game and didn't really have much of an impact. But other players stepped up. Another player that really had a bad performance was Kai Havertz. The man is just lost. He is like a lost soul out there walking. Just walking, like a German giant, a German slender man. Like he just walks and just does nothing. He'll run a little bit, walk a little bit, miss a couple chances, come off. Might as well catch him down the pub. Like there is no point for him to be in an Arsenal shirt at the minute. And he is not proving any of the haters wrong. But the moment that the game changed, the moment that Thanos clicked his fingers and said, you know what, this game is mine, was when we brought Havertz off. We brought Fabio Vieira on and some changes started to happen. We started to see the play move a little bit. Tomiyasu came into left back and just shored everything up. And it was then, when it passed the 90th minute and the likes of Gabriel Jesus came on, that the moment happened. It was in the mid 90s. We grab a corner, the corner goes to the back post and who's there? My 100 million pound signing. Declan Rice, Basmati Rice, all types of rice, long grain, short grain, Declan, that ball came down to him, he chests it down, 
And there is no Man United player in sight. I don't know what they're playing at. You know, they had Harry Maguire on, Johnny Evans, average age looking like 74 maybe. And no one was trying to put in a little challenge. No one was trying to intercept the ball. And you know what Rice did? He said, you know what, I'm going to shoot this. I'm not even going to shoot it accurately, but I'm going to shoot it at a player. And the player's going to deflect it in. And I'm going to celebrate like I just won the World Cup. And you know what he did? He did exactly that. He volleyed that ball. It deflected off someone's leg. And it went in. And the crowd went wild. Jubilation. Cups were thrown. Plates were missing. Everyone was dying. Because someone pooed themselves during the celebrations. I'm telling you. Someone pooed themselves in my house during the celebrations. Just pooed themselves with the excitement. It was just clouding up the place. But I got through it. And managed to make things work. And we're alive. We're 2-1 up. We've won the game. Sealed. Signed. Sealed. Delivered. But the intensity just upped itself. Because this brother, Anthony Taylor, is not stopping the game. Rewind a little bit. And we should have had a penalty. Apparently, VAR ruled that one out. Man United also scored. Garnacho. VAR ruled that one out. Because of Gabriel's head movement. Pause. He managed to like tilt his body to play Garnacho offside. So, faith just aligned. And this was the time. When Man United were like, you know what, I think it's our turn to get a goal. The ball came into the box. You know who clears it? Reese Nelson. You know who gets it after him? Fabio Vieira. And Fabio Vieira, first time, vision, Portuguese, Portugala, ciao ciao bella, plays the ball in. First time, Gabriel, sent down from the heavens. Jesus himself is played through on goal and he is getting sprinted after. I don't know who by... I forgot who it was, was it Johnny Evans, was it Harry Maguire, was it David De Gea, was it Cristiano Ronaldo, it could be anyone. But whoever that was, is not alive anymore. Because what Gabriel Jesus did, was amazing. He ran into the box, but faked a shot, you know, in Pez, back in the day. Square and X, or circle and X, fake shot, boom. Man's gone sliding, man's gone Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping in September is mad, but he's already there shopping. And Jesus is thinking about the favelas because he puts it into the bottom right corner, sealing the deal. My manager, Arteta's shouting, I'm shouting, hair's gone, everyone. Cat's out the window. The cat's out the bag. Arsenal will win in the league. Best game of the season so far. Wow, what a game, man. That was an instant classic. When we talk about revelations, when we talk about classics, when we talk about the big games in the Premier League season, I don't want to hear Man City and Chelsea. I don't want to hear Man City, Man United. I don't want to hear Tottenham, Man United. Like, all these fixtures are dry. Even Man City, Arsenal, we, uh, it's predictable. There is something so unpredictable about a Man United, Arsenal game. And even though Arsenal have won, like, for six seasons in a row at home, the games have always been so competitive. And that's what I'm loving about this side. In a game where we played so, we didn't really play good, we played so bad. Like we genuinely didn't really have a rhythm to the game. There was a few outstanding players, Saka was off it. There was a couple of players not really doing well, but in a game that that happened, we managed to come back from the ashes and pull out a result like that. It just shows that the mentality of the season is different and is getting back onto the same level as last year, where we beat the likes of Aston Villa in the last minute, Bournemouth in the last minute. But now we're stepping up the level. We're able to do this to teams like Man United and so on. So hopefully this will continue in the season. And as an Arsenal fan, I'm enjoying it. Man United fans, bro, you lot gave us some problems, man. Garnacho's goal could have gone onside and different story. You know, I'll be fuming. I'll be bold right now because of the stress that I would have been facing. But in a different life, that happened. But Man United fans, honestly, you have, I don't think you have anything to hate about. Onana is an amazing keeper that is playing out of his shell right now you know he's putting so much pressure off the defense it's amazing i've never seen someone be so relaxed on the ball as a keeper like man is just an african uncle you know cameroonian uncle man just got his feet up the whole game shout out onana shout out you guys man this has been jib rules talking about an amazing instant classic of a game and i'm sweating because it is 29 degrees outside and to film these videos i gotta close all the windows put all the lights on and put a green screen on Stay blessed, stay safe, like the video, subscribe if you like the content and peace out man.